let us discuss how to mount fuel injection pump fuel injection pump this is fuel injection pump for 30 cat 3116 cat 3116 this is the fuel injection pump some call it distribution pump we are going to see how to mount it in this video this pump has no you can see it's gear driving it has no timing there's no timing there no need for you to be looking for the timing it has no timing you can see my where my, my hand is now that is where you put your soul your stopper solenoid it has no timing what you need to do is to make sure that the gear mesh with each other and you must make sure that as you have to fix it this is the in and out of it there is a spring inside this place there is a valve spring that had pressure for the for the gas or for the diesel line so that it can build pressure from it there's always a hole ring there or a seal that prevents it from leaking. So before you fix it, you must make sure that you provide O ring or O seal there so that the there will not be oil leakage there. And as you have to fix it, remember you are connecting with your rack. You are connecting it to your rack. So there is a connector that connects this pump with your nozzle rack so, so this seal is very very important make sure that it's not caught and if it is caught you put another seal so that it will not be leaking that this is where you connect your rack as you fix the injection make sure you connect your rack because this is your rack that is your torto it controls the injector it controls the injection and your stopper solenoid is there to off your engine to off the injection from supplying fuel. By the time you off it, it will off. It has about three bolts to tight. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the, the third one. So it's very easy to mount. It has only three bolts to mount. And if you tie these three bolts, it has been mounted. And you must make sure that those teeth, those gear mesh with the one inside mm, so that it will not grind the teeth if you can do it like that it will be more easy for you and the engine will not give you a problem to mount your rubber i'm still referring to it i know i'm talking about that any cut from it can make the it to be leaking and don't forget when you fix this pump you must connect it with your rack it is then it is your rack that work with your torch that help the engine to accelerate then don't forget your i'm just going to show you the the sewing knot the stopper sewing knot i lose it out so that you can see it and understand it that is why i lose it out you can see the pump it is not too big and very easy to mount this is the stopper solenoid. You can see it. Its work, its job is to off the diesel line. By the time you there is there is current on it, it will actuate it and it will push the 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 injection pump to the off line. And before you know it, the engine will off. So that is the work. And because it has spring, the spring will return it back to opening immediately so that should by the time the, it loses current by the time you off the the current leave it it will go back so that shows how the super solenoid now it has been mounted you can see i've, I've mounted it we have tightened the three bolts then i connect the in and out pipes the intake pipe and the out take pipe that the engine now is much ready to start do well to subscribe to my channel 
so that you can see things like this this is 3116 how to mount injection pump it is very simple and straightforward if you have any problem in mounting it you can go to the comment section and tell me the problem you are encountering in mounting this very pump and i will quickly go to respond to your questions it's only the three boats that tighten it thank you thank you thank you